Hello everybody, I'm Tad and this is Board Games, War Games, and Miniatures. I just finished my Cruel Necessity, it's over here on the shelf already, um, series of playthrough videos. And this came in the mail yesterday as I was wrapping up editing the final episode. And it's another unboxing. Perfect timing. Now, I know what this is, but as normal, um, I reviewed the information uh, on the campaign for this game and not much more. I don't watch any of the, you know, sometimes they'll send out some of these content creators, uh, you know, uh, before, the, before the game's finished, you know, they send them out samples of the game to do a video to try to hype, you know, the campaign for them. And I don't watch those. Uh, I want to be surprised. I want to experience it myself. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to open this up. You're going to experience it with me. And uh, I'm excited about this game. Again, another game that I can play solo and does have some miniature components to it. I really got to get back to um, painting. All right, so it comes in this good sized box. The box is pretty crushed. It has one piece of cellophane that is not even sticking very well. well. Of course, now it's sticking up here. So hopefully the contents are packed better than the box that it came in. Let's open it up. Of course, it's got an invoice sheet and whoa, some bubble wrap and stuff just thrown in here it's not not very well um packaged but <laughs> it, it did come at least with some card protectors i did uh splurge a little bit to get these um you know i sleeve all of my cards so you can see a lot of cards these were just thrown in here willy-nilly on top of the box all right got a bunch of those here's an extra miniature this probably came along as a gift from you know the campaign it's got a card with it can't really see what it is looks like a cat i don't know We'll see. I, I'm going to be surprised at, at looking at the quality of these miniatures online. Um, they didn't look too great, but we'll see. So there's that. And then here's the box. Now the box is a good size. Come on, I can't even get it out of here. Oh. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Bubble and a bunch of crumpled up paper you can see the box is not in great shape they really didn't put a lot into the packaging of this game nightmare cathedral so this is uh a game you can play multiplayers it does have a nice solo mode to it so it says one to four players ages 14 plus and it says 60, 60 minutes. Uh, you know, time time is going to be varied. Um, Nightmare Cathedral is, and I'm going to butcher these names. So, um, it's based on the works of Zdzislaw Beksinski, I think. Z D Z I S L A W. What a name! That's awesome. I would love to have a name starting with a Z. Uh, Blazel Cubic Cubic Cubacki. I'm horrible. I'm sorry. I, I'm I have to apologize. I cannot pronounce these names of these designers and um, artists. Um, Zislaw Beksinski, Franciszek Wolski, Zbigniew. Wow, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Anyways, there's your cover. That's pretty cool. Gothic style, kind of right up my alley. 
Here's the sides. Uh, let me just read the back for you real quick. Um, open your eyes. Do you see the perilous land of dreams and nightmares before you? A vision of beauty and horror is but the first step on your way to become a strategist, a conqueror, and perhaps even the victor. It goes on and on. Nightmare Cathedral is a game created in cooperation with the officially licensed and officially licensed from the Historical Museum of Sanok and featuring the art of the renowned Polish artist, painter, and sculptor Zdzislaw Beksinski. And I mean, let's look at the back here. You can see table layout. Let me get this plastic off here for you. Maybe you can see it better that way. Not as much glare, I'm sure, from my life, but come on, baby. All right. Wow. I like this uh, artwork for sure. Very cool looking. Very, very gothic and dark looking. All right. Here's the front again. Let's uh, open this baby up and discover what's inside. Box is nice. It's got uh, kind of that that cloth feel to it a little bit. It says uh, board and dice. Nice, tightly packed in there. Right on the top, we have the rule book. All right, let's look at this baby real quick. Full color, nice. See some of the components, the pieces. And hopefully uh, the rule book is, oh wow. Have, have a lot of uh, imagery here showing you how you actually build these cathedrals as you go. And that looks pretty cool. What do we have here? We have 30 pages and then about the artist, 31 pages. Here's a picture of the artist. Very nice. Rule book. Next, a separate solo mode rule book. All right, interesting. That's cool. 11, 12 pages counting the back. Solo player aid on the back. Interesting. Next, oh, we've got some cardboard. Awesome. Let's see what's in this package. Some eerie imagery. Some pretty large punch outs here. That's one. Oh, geez. This kind of fits together. I Again, I, I haven't really researched uh, how to play this or anything, but uh, again, very dark, gothic, scary imagery. Cool. Here's another piece. It's gonna fall right out. Look at that. Very, very easy to punch out. Here's the back of that one. Interesting, another one. I think these kind of interlock together. Maybe maybe this is your player board. A lot of teeth on the back of these. Dark, but pretty clear. I mean, not not right no writing on it that is going to be inhibited by the darkness of the uh, imagery. So that's cool. Now maybe maybe this is the board. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Another giant board. Holy crap. Oh, the... The struggle is real. I don't even know if you can see all that in here. I'll try to edit this so we can see it all. That's just one side. Again, not, 
not any, I don't see, not really any writing. So this can be as dark as it can be. And here is the back side of it. So it's double sided. Interesting, very large. I don't know how I'm gonna film this. I'm gonna have to film this sideways as I play. I don't know, but I'm still intrigued. I'm very, very interested in, in this game. Uh, already peeling off the cardboard a little bit here as you try to fold it. Eh, not the greatest, uh, you know, highest quality of that. All right, we've got a tray in here, nice tray. Here's your, your tray. And a lot of uh, cards. Thus all my sleeves. I'm not going to open all these up right here. There's a pack of cards. Another pack of cards. Another pack of cards. I don't know, I've got some cool imagery on it. This one says Nightmare. Pretty cool. More cards. These are smaller in size. This has uh, says conflict on the back. I don't know. We'll see. Smaller size. And what's next? Well, one little black uh, six-sided dice. We've got some circular wooden cubes. Now we're getting into some plastic here. Whoa, some of these are tiny. There's a whole bag of these little tiny creatures. I don't know if you'll be able to even see them. They look almost, I don't know, almost like a skeleton, kind of, maybe a zombie-ish. Just the torso, very small. They all seem to be the same sculpt, but different colors for, I'm assuming multiple players. It does say one to four players. And there's a bunch of those. These are all the same sculpt. Then we've got another bag. These are gray, different sculpt, but they're all the same in here. This guy's crouching down on his, you know, he's got his knees bent. Again, looks like a evil uh, skeleton zombie creature. Got a whole bag of those. And here are some of the cathedral pieces. Pretty cool. Oh, okay. So, not completely sculpted on all sides because I think they, they fit together somehow. So we only need any detailing on like this one, two sides. Here's another one, more detailing. Almost got your Rosetta here. I don't think you can really see these really well. I don't know how they, they fit together yet, but it's in the rules. Here's another one, more of a, oh, that's cool. So they do have these cutouts that will, of course, facilitate putting them together. I'm assuming somehow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, jeez. There's a bunch. There's a bunch of them. And we'll figure that out as we go. But there's a bunch, a whole bag of those. There's your, your first ins insert, and we've got another insert. Check how this is in the box. This has a nice protective cover. Very thick, very sturdy. And a lot more plastic in here. 
we've got these rounder rounder rounded pieces um, I don't know if they stack up on each other somehow maybe possibly oh there there you go that's pretty cool and of course each color represented with these there's 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 a bunch in here same color all right don't know what they're used for they look like towers when you put them together some type of tower and then we've got some cool we got some cool uh, plastic in here that's all in the middle this looks like a bunch of skeletons huddled together for some reason and we have multiple of these so the same four different colors for the four different factions um, or players i'm assuming that thing's pretty cool looking that's like an evil some type of pterodactyl or something <laughs> got four of those um let me see what else we have here this tall thing i don't know what, i don't know what any of these are gonna be but that's pretty interesting like a pillar but almost like it's got a something crawling up it a skeleton of some sort crawling up it pretty cool they're very solid um fairly detailed you could get this of course with a sun drop done on it already to give it some dimension um, i may do some type of sun drop or, or some type of painting on, on these just to show the different uh sculpting of it here's another guy looks like he's got a skeleton face and a, and a robe pretty cool this looks like a howl's moving castle to me <laughs> Or something there. Oh, look at this guy. I mean, pretty cool. I mean, horror, gothic style. I've said that a hundred times, I know. But uh, pretty cool looking. Oh, here's this dude. This dude's uh, got multiple hands. And he's playing uh, some type of instrument, like a clarinet or something. Pretty cool. What else do we have here? We've got a head. I don't know. I can't wait. I can't wait to dive into this and see what all the, these this imagery means. But look at this dude. It's almost Geiger-esque. This, this skull here. And he's got like a tail in the back. Interesting. And then you've got four of these, again, representing the different colors. These might be the, the actual players' uh, pieces. The blue one, they're the same sculpt. The tan one. Green. And last but not least, this reddish color. So that's cool. Um, anything else under this insert? Nope. Nothing else. That's it. Everything in the box. Um... I just, I can't wait to get into this. Oh boy, the, the games are just piling up. They're coming in, coming in hot and fast. All right, I'm going to have to put this all together. But there you go. Nightmare Cathedral. We'll just see what it's about. I Again, I just didn't really research it. It just looked really cool, and I backed it. All right, if you know anything about Nightmare Cathedral, make some comments uh, in the video. I would appreciate it. We'll get this. It's it's in a long line now. I've got such a, a line of, of games to play, new games, even I have tons of old games still, miniatures now to, to work on. All right, guys, if you find any entertaining value in my videos, please like, subscribe, and leave me comments. Let me know what you think of this, if you got this, if you've even played it. Let me know what you think. And... As usual, thank you very much.